Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. Today we're going to learn to add, rename, or delete a column in an existing SQL table. We'll be doing this in a MySQL database. As always, I have a full write-up for this on my site, analyticsforall.org. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, in this, we're going to be using some new syntax you may not have seen before, mainly alter and add. Uh, these are what's known as DDL language. Uh, if you don't know what DDL is, I've got, of course, I have a, I'll put a link down in the description. I have a site on that. But let's go ahead, let's hop over to the database and see how it's done. Okay, so here I've got a table in my date, DB test database called imp info. I've got three columns, ID, employee, and date of birth. Uh, first thing you want to do anytime you get in here is make sure you're using the correct database. And it's just a simple command of use and the database name and you execute. Now we're in the correct database. So let's go ahead, let's start by adding a new column to it. So we're going to say alter table we spell correctly it helps imp info and then we're going to add then we have to cut let's add a column called location so we'll call location and then we have to give it its data type var char 255 if you don't know what data types are i also have a page of my site for common data types using my sql i'll have a link down in the description for that as well but here we go I'm going to run this command now let's go ahead and we'll refresh that helps if I actually click it properly. Refresh. And now you see you've got a fourth column location. All right, let's try the next step. Let's rename that. Let's say I want to change it now to office. We're going to alter table, imp, info, rename. Column. Location, so old name to the new name, we'll call it office. Now if we refresh this again, it says office now. Okay, last one, we're going to try, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to drop the column, so that's delete. Is drop is a common word used in databases to delete something. So alter table info, we're going to drop column office. This. And one more time, let's refresh it. And now it has ID table database. Notice the one weird thing here is that there's no column when the add because it I don't know why that keyword is not needed but all the rest of them rename drop you have to tell it what you want to go after a column for some reason on the add it just happens to know it's a column I guess so you don't have to put the code keyword in fact if you put the keyword column in here you're going to get a syntax error but anyway this is how you can add rename and drop a column out of an existing table in SQL. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this, hit the subscribe and like button. Leave some comments. Tell me what you want me to work on, and I can build some videos for you, stuff you want to learn. Again, thank you. This is Analytics for All. Thanks for watching.